what's going on guys i'm jada black salute to everybody tuning in make sure you like this video if you're new make sure you subscribe i want to talk about Le'Veon bell man as you can see Le'Veon bell put up let me see if i can find it he put this up or he said this on his instagram and it has gone viral all over social media and apparently he mentioned how he will never play for andy reed again he would rather retire first and this is why i say this guy is definitely down extremely badly because this is a guy who can't get a job in the nfl right now it's already june and training camps are going to be starting in late july and he still hasn't gotten a job in the nfl yet now this is a guy who's always been a big deal Le'Veon Bell has always been the guy, whether it be in high school, at Michigan State, at Piz in Pittsburgh, when he left Pittsburgh as a free agent and went to the Jets. He's always been a big deal. Le'Veon Bell has always been a big deal, but now he can't get a job in the NFL. And who is he gonna blame for that? He's gonna blame Andy Reid. Now, Andy Reid may not be perfect, but Andy Reid is a is a very good coach. You you haven't heard, and Andy Reid again, he was in he was with the Eagles, got you know, got fired from the Eagles, went to the Chiefs, right? But he's always been able to uh, maintain a reputation, not only been a good coach, but a guy that wasn't about drama unless it's his kids his kids are constantly in drama uh andy reed that's a whole nother topic but Le'Veon bell is 29 he's 29 years old and there's no telling how much longer he's going to be able to play in the nfl he's a running back and running backs don't age very well running backs do not age very well and this was also a tweet that he put up in may right Somebody said, when they had the chance since uh, then to have three of the worst years ever by someone who had the potential to be a Hall of Fame running back, then you decided to chase a ring instead and still lost. The Pittsburgh system made you. So, LOL, the only difference with the Steelers was they gave me opportunity. Haven't had that since I left. I probably need to play for a defensive-minded head coach instead of these offensive-minded gurus. And he's referring to... Andy Reid. Listen, I don't know if Andy Reid is a player's coach. He comes off as a guy who's very balanced. He's a play calling type coach, but he seems to get along with his players. You know, you don't see a lot of um, players who speak out against Andy Reid like that. At least I haven't seen it. But it seems to me to be that this guy is burning bridges wherever he goes wherever Le'Veon bell has gone he has burnt a bridge he burnt a bridge with the pittsburgh steelers he burnt a bridge with the jets now that may have been mutual bridge burning but mostly on the jets end and now with the chiefs maybe he thought that andy reed was gonna resign him bro if this is the way you felt about andy reed i can only imagine when you were there how you may have felt and things being said because i'm telling you right now levion you might have been venting to guys you thought you were cool with but they could have went back and told andy reed and andy reed probably said nah we're not gonna bring him back that goes on in these locker rooms i'm telling you i've been in these football i've been in these locker rooms that's how they protect their position they will go and say things about you let's get into this article from deadspin former all pro running back levion bell shouldn't be burning bridges nowadays the 29-year-old former Jet Steeler and Chief took to Instagram this last night and when asked by a fan whether or not he'd return to the Chiefs next season, he replied, I'll never play for Andy Reid again. I'd retire first. This is the full thing here. Once again, burning another bridge. This is not something that he should be doing. But again, he's in charge of his career. I can't tell Le'Veon Bell how to feel. It's up for Le'Veon Bell to decide how he feels about certain things. But the one thing I do know that, you know, 
running backs don't last very long in the NFL. He's at 29. He's still in his 20s. And there were a lot of young running backs drafted over the last couple of years. Even the Chiefs drafted a running back last year in the first round. So these the league is getting younger at running back. They 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 keep devaluing the position. Now you do see running backs still continue to get drafted high, but it's not in a large number. It's never going to be in a large number like maybe it used to be. And Le'Veon Bell got to understand the social politics. You know, I like to talk about social politics. You got to understand the social politics of sports. He's getting um, anxious because training camp is in less than a month and he still hasn't gotten signed. Even though he still could get signed right before training camp or during training camp when there's always going to be injuries. There's always going to be injuries. And he could be brought in during that time. Why do you think Frank Gore? I mean, how old is Frank Gore? <laughs> okay. How do how you, how you think Frank Gore has been able to last so long in the NFL? Okay. Because he understands the social politics. He understands I'm going to play my best. And if it doesn't work out, I know I'm going to get signed to another team. The guy's 38 years old. And he's able to find teams because teams can rely on him. The fact that Le'Veon Bell hasn't found that is because teams can't rely on Le'Veon Bell. They don't feel like they can. Get back to the screen here. Le'Veon has a history of calling out his former teams. Bell has taken the social media several times, claiming that the Steelers should have paid him when they had the chance. Bell famously set out the final year of his contract with Pittsburgh in hopes that they would give him an extension worth of the amount of money he believed he was worth. That didn't happen. Bell was forced to take a smaller contract than he was offered with the Steelers and had to play for the Jets. Gross. Yeah, man, that was, I'm telling you, man, that was probably one of the biggest blunders of his career. Probably one of the, the biggest blunders of his career. But see, that's what happens when you don't understand leverage you don't understand the leverage you may or may not have because you're too busy trying to one up an organization like the pittsburgh steelers pittsburgh Steelers is a very smart organization and i think at that time he got in his feelings and that's why they ended up doing what they did and getting them out of there and he ended up taking less money to go to the jets you see, this is, once again, when you have the wrong people around you that, that may not even have your best interests at heart, you got to have your own interests at heart. So you don't have to be in situations like this to where everything that you work for is being squandered. When you still could be flourishing, even going into your early 30s. But there's something with Le'Veon Bell that if I don't get the playing time, if I don't have the stats, you got to understand as a running back, you got to be in a system that caters to your abilities. And I believe Andy Reid's system did that. That's why they signed you. So why go at Andy Reid when the guy gave you a chance? Well, nobody else was, nobody else was giving you that chance. Bell's tenure with the Jets went over about as well as most holiday family gatherings. There were hopes that Bell could maintain the dominance he had seen as Pittsburgh's lead back the first four years of his career. But those hopes were quickly squashed when everyone realized just how much the Steelers O-line benefited Bell. Bell's decline in production with New York wasn't entirely his fault. The Jets franchise was in despair and the coaching staff definitely did not use Bell to the best of his abilities. That's because the head coach did not want Le'Veon Bell. The head coach, they didn't want Le'Veon Bell. Or at least the head coach did, and I think the organization did, but he didn't want Le'Veon Bell. That's why he never gave him the opportunities uh, to utilize his skill set. 
let's see, nevertheless, Bell's time in New York quickly came to an end after rumors began circling that Bell was demanding to be traded. The only problem was New York was was paying Bell an average salary of $13 million, and Bell was producing just 3.3 yards per carry and 50.8 yards per game while a jet while in Jets green. Why would anyone pay that much money for that level of production? Ultimately, the Jets released Bell after Bell liked some tweets criticizing the Jets coach and staff on their usage of Bell. Again, they were probably going to release him anyway, but that gave them a reason. That gave them a reason to get him out of there, as you can see here. That gave him a reason to get rid of Le'Veon Bell. And uh, again, you got to understand the social politics of sports. You're an you're aging running back. These teams are losing, le are, are, are losing faith that you're going to be productive. And what you don't want to do is hasten your demise in football. And that's what Le'Veon Bell did. He hastened his demise in football to the point to where he is still a free agent. And again... I don't care what he does in his personal life, but Le'Veon has a lot of kids. Le'Veon Bill has a lot of kids, man. And apparently, I believe he just had a new kid. So, I don't know if he's saving money. I don't know if he's investing his money. But I think he's looking at all those factors, and he's saying he really wants to get a job in the NFL. But Le'Veon Bell has to understand that getting on social media and ranting and talking about who you're not going to play for, that doesn't help an organization want to sign you. That helps an organization want to stay as far away from you as possible. And that's what's happening, I believe, in this particular situation.